When dealing with a pattern product, our first step is to make our product in the Product tab. Click on the Product tab, click Add Carpet, then right click and select View Modify. Enter in the pattern size in the Horizontal Repeat and Vertical Repeat fields. Once the product has been applied, click on the Estimate tab. Note that the pattern grid is not aligned across our doors. To manually align, right click on the room, click Pattern slash Tile Design, then set Pattern slash Tile Grid Start. Note that when we return to the room, we have a green dot and crosshairs. MeasureSquare has two ways of calculating for pattern match. As a default, the program will round up the cut to be divisible by the pattern size. For example, in our 10 foot 7 inch by 10 foot 7 inch room, if we add 18 inch for the horizontal pattern, we would arrive at 12 foot 1 inches. So the program will round up to 12 foot 3 inches so that the measurement would be divisible by our pattern. The other option for calculating a pattern match is to manually set a ratio based off of our repeat size. To do this, right click on Pattern Carpet Layout Settings, click on Roundup Cut by Pattern Size to deselect our default option, then left click on a room, right click and select Pattern Carpet Layout Setting, and then click Set Pattern Match by Width and Length Factors. The user can then choose how much of a margin to add based off of the repeat. For example, 0.25 of a vertical repeat. Click Apply to all rooms and then click OK and watch the waist change accordingly. To further optimize for waste, Measure Square allows the user to choose the first cut. To set the first cut, right click on a room, click Pattern Carpet Layout Setting, and then select Set First Cut. Then click on the cut you would like to move to the front of the roll. In our example, note that our waste went from 32.44% down to 19.74%.